And welcome back. This is Valor Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Ark. Ark is ranked 12th in his Platinum Division with 2,234 points, 397 wins, and 382 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the south up against Ark. He is the Red Terran in the north, east, west. He's in West. I'm still exhausted. He is the return in the red. Wow. Really tired. Red Terran in the West. The map is Metalopolis. Not one of my favorite maps, but then again, it is Terran versus Terran, so the map isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. It, you know, when th there's no advantages to your race, because the other guy's the same race. So does change the build a little bit though because of our spawning positions neither one of us know where the other one has spawned yet but because of the spawning positions i always love to go fast air here uh usually medevac drops i usually don't go for banshees i'm not a big fan of doing the banshee plays even though it can be very effective sending one in even if it never gets cloaked to be honest Usually, if you send one Banshee in, it scares the opponent into putting a massive amounts of missile turrets all around the base, wasting all that minerals, all that time, just because you put out one Banshee. Um, whereas if you send three or four Medivacs in and do a couple drops and a couple Evacs, the missile turrets are not guaranteed to go up nearly as much as when you send in one Banshee. So we are going to be seeing pretty similar builds from the both of us. This is pretty standard play, Metalopolis. Both of us did scout each other first on the first guess. So we all both know where each other is. We know what's going on. We're both probably thinking the same thing, which is fast air. Oh, and he snipes my barracks building SCV. This guy is a pro, though. He's able to pick up where the other guy left off. And that SCV lives with just one hit left. Five HP, but he does get that one kill. I don't know if my name little thing covers that, but he has one kill. I don't know if I've ever seen a SCV get anything higher than a recruit. I don't know if they get the same names as all the other units. I would assume they do, but that'd be awesome, you know, Corporal SCV has arrived. Reactor going down on my first barracks as usual. No, no add-on to Ark's first barracks. Second one is on the way. Just interesting, a little different. I am getting supply depots all around the base. Uh, I, I feel free to put it behind the mineral line here because I'm not expecting Banshees coming in that I don't spot here or here. Uh, this is a very strange position for a Banshee to get in inside my base, so I'm not too concerned about putting stuff there. He is doing the same thing with su the supply depots, getting them all around the base. He does not want that fast air coming in and catching him off guard. Three racks is on the way for Ark as well, but still no add-ons. Not sure exactly what that is. Um, I've never been a fan of getting the barracks with the, without add-ons. You know, pumping out massive amounts of Marines. You know, I understand maybe if you don't have gas, but he's got plenty of gas. You know, 200, 300, almost 300, 300. There's no reason for there not to be a reactor, at least. Tech Lab is finally going down on that first barracks. Still nothing on the other two. Oh, reactor is on the way, so there we go, reactor. Um, the, what I was going to say is that if you don't have any gas, feel free to, I guess, make barracks and barracks and more barracks. No add-ons and just pump out Marines, you know? But if you, are, if you have the gas, which he did, get the reactor. It only costs 50. It does take a little bit to build, but then you can produce Marines twice as fast. Factory is now on the way for Ark. Along with a bunker, he is going to be securing his ramp. 
Um, I'm doing a bad job of microing my Marines and Marauders early on. They should be over on this side of the barracks, this side, because that little ledge is awesome. And yes, it does look like I just changed the rally point to go over there. I do like to keep at least the first couple uh, Marines and Marauders guarding the ramp. I don't want them doing a run by and having these guys not be able to snipe them and kill them. He does drop a scan in my base. He is able to see at least the three racks. Three racks, which is pretty standard considering that he's got now three racks up, a factory, and now a starport is on the way. That is because he hasn't been getting the same army that I have, and he hasn't been spending... No, he has spent more on technology. So, once again, I don't know what I'm talking about, and that's because I believe that the factory, the tech, the, and... Uh, the starport, those are counted towards technology, and all of the production facilities are counted towards technology. Ooh, fancy. So he is doing a little switch here. He built the reactor on the factory, lifted it off, and then landed the starport on the factory. Or, on the reactor. That'd be weird if you landed on the factory. I don't think you're allowed to do that. So a medevac is on the way. So he is going for a quick medevac drop. I do drop a scan. And notice the placement of that scan. The reason for that is because I wanted to see the army. And I wanted to see if he had an expansion. I'm proud of myself for that. But because he didn't have an expansion, it didn't give me all the information that I wanted. If I had scanned here, I would have noticed that he did have the starport out and a reactor on it, so I would have assumed a medevac drop, which is exactly what he's going for here. I am going for a push. These guys are going single file. Luckily, none of these marines went down. One guy did get a little bit hurt, but he will be doing fine overall. Marine going around the long way. Where is he going? He's going to check to make sure I don't have an expansion, which is on the way. And, of course, I have these guys queued up as well. I am avoiding anything from this ledge here. I don't know if he could see me, but he definitely has the sense that I am on my way because he had the guy at the Zalnaga Tower. But no, he is going for a push, but I am able to catch him a little bit off guard. But the position isn't that important. There are no siege tanks out on the field, and my upgrade army is enough to take out his. Meanwhile, his marine is down in my base and kills my SCP, starting to do damage on my expansion. But it will take forever. It's only doing six damage at a time. I still have units in my base. They easily take out that Marine. And I'm like, where the hell did that guy come from? So I'm trying to push up in here with uh, the what's left of my army. Uh, notice that this is pre-patched. So these SCVs are fully safe guarding that bunker. They will not be targeted like they are after the patch. I do have a... The, the patch actually was released today. Um... I did not actually post a video today. This w this video is actually scheduled to go up about five hours ago. So I will try to get this up as soon as possible. So the video for today will be late. Missile turrets are on the way. Um, it has be been because I am so busy and I've just been exhausted every time I get home. Been working late and all that good stuff. So medevacs are being dropped. I queued this SCV up to die. That was that was what I queued him up to do. So getting all these SCVs out, moving them down here. They should be mining. They are. So I did do the right thing there. Meanwhile, I am able to get all these guys killed. Even this last marine, which apparently wants to kill that missile turret like nobody's business. I'm not able to take out the medevacs, though. So he is able to skirt back to his base with it. He doesn't have that much of an army left in his base, but because of those medevacs, which are 200-200, he is going to be able to take the lead still in the army count because, really, I have nothing either. Everything that I have left is is right over here making sure that he doesn't do another drop. Did I stop producing? That is it. I did have to stop producing. I am very heavy on minerals here. I do have two uh, two mining operations going here, but not four refineries yet. I had to pull everybody off of the gas 
because I pulled everybody out and I have not put them back yet. So once again, macro falling apart. Need to pay attention. And I am getting a couple missile turrets here. I don't want that to happen again. So I am getting those up now. His expansion is not on the way. It looked like that uh, red block was a little off shape, and that is why, because it's just an army. Uh, the expansion is being built inside the base. I don't do that. I should probably, to be honest with you, but I don't. Uh, it's a it, it's an interesting thing to, to build it inside as opposed to outside. So here's the way I think about it: is that if I lift it off and then move it down here, and the, there aren't there isn't any army here, I'm I could be out 400 minerals trying to get that expansion there because they could take out the or the the command center. Otherwise, I could just send the SCV out, and then if the SCV dies, then I'm just out 50. That's just the way that I think about it. I'm you know, there are benefits to it if you take out, um, if you are unable to secure that expansion and just have the second command center in your base, you can, of course, uh, get mules and SCVs twice as fast. And I just noticed that he is full on energy, a full 200 out of 200 energy. Um, I actually went for a planetary fortress down here, and I don't have that much energy and once again just macro 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 so I am finally getting the production facilities up once again those are incredibly late I do need to get those up earlier and what is this over here we do see a supply depot it's not okay I mean when I f when I was playing in the game I thought this was a brilliant strategy he put supply depots as, as you can see he put them at the expansions that I would be going to so that he can gauge when I get those expansions but if he was smart well he is smart for doing that but if he was a little bit smarter he'd put them here that way I can't even get the expansion until I destroy the supply depot but the way that it works now is that I'm in, I'm in the middle of building it and I go what the hell there's a red dot over there and that's pretty much it two star ports are on the way I do have a tech lab going up on the factory. Hopefully I go reactor tech lab here and I don't go reactor reactor like I normally think of doing. I am getting that command center on my third expansion. He does not have a third expansion, so I will be taking the lead in expansions. Yay. In terms of army, he is still clearly ahead of me. Even though I have more supply, that is because his army is tacky. It has siege tanks, it is medevacs, and I just have a marina marauder ball here. These guys are 1-1 one, one, as opposed to his army which is 0-0-0-0. Zero, 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 zero. And no, no plating on that. Medevac. So here we go, another solar supply depot going up uh, to watch this expansion, but I would love it if he would have it out to prevent the expansion. Um, it would definitely have helped him a little bit more. I am still completely oversaturated here. You can see all the lateral movement here. I missed, looks like, two SCVs, so we're talking about 16 on 5. So even in terms of 3 to 1, that is oversaturated. I do see that supply depot finally. I'm like, what the hell? He, he, random supply depot? Well, okay, he knows I have an expansion. So I've sent everybody over there to take it out. Here we go. I do have a Banshee on the way. Along with nothing out of the one with the reactor. Why am I not getting anything out of the reactor, you may ask. And that's a damn good question. One I don't have an answer for. Until now. There's medevacs. What are you talking about? They've always been there. Oh, what am I at? Oh, jeez. 900, 900, as opposed to him, who, holy crap, he's got 1,200 gas and just under 200 minerals? I've never seen anybody that gas heavy, you might as well just, oh, there's why. Okay, he's he's got 16 guys on, on three little mineral patches here. He is finally getting his third expansion. Uh, he needs to move those guys down here. He's only got 10 on these eight. So, you know, just take like a whole chunk of those and be like, okay, you guys go over here and then leave like two guys to, 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 to finish this off. That's what I usually like to do at this point in the game. 
But, of course, I didn't do that. Man, I make myself look awful, don't I? What am I getting? I am getting weapons uh, level 2 on my infantry, weapons level 1 on my on my vehicles, which is the siege tanks that I should be getting out. I do have an armory up. Siege tank is there. Siege mode is researched, but he is not doing it because he thinks he's awesome like that. I did get a second bear, uh, engineering bay up so I can get the upgrades twice as fast, and this is something that I only see with Terran players. I mean, look at the size of that production. I am getting a ton of stuff, but what I am not getting is a siege tank and anything out of this starport, and I need to be doing that, but the problem is that I am supply locked. I mean, I am up there. I'm at 181, now 183, 185, 185. I mean, I can only do so much more with this marina marauder ball i need to be doing some damage with it because whoa which one am i at? okay there we go he's got 39 marines opposed to my 51 he's got 10 siege tanks though i only have the one but i have 27 marauders and he only has 11 so here i am playing kind of cutesy I do like to do this from time to time. I don't want to play right into where I assume his siege line is. I, I always assume that these uh, Terran players, this, uh, you know, I like to do it, have a siege line somewhere. Just all of a sudden, boom, massive amounts of siege tanks. And of course, the, this you don't have to worry too much about bunching them up together like that because I have no area effect um, damage dealing thingies. You know, I don't have Banelings, I don't have Psystorm, so really this bunching them up together like that in TVT is relatively safe. Of course, there are exceptions, but there are rare and few and far between. He is finally getting weapons upgrade level 1 for all those siege tanks that he has. And here I assume that he has the third expansion. So I'm going in with this huge marine and marauder ball. This guy does have cloak, but for some reason he does not feel like using it. I say he, even though she clearly has breastuses. And here we go once again. Pre-patch, so those guys were not targeted. and But they die nonetheless. Because they weren't harvesting, they don't automatically go to the other place, and there I do catch the siege tanks off guard, so I am able to take out quite a bit of them before they are able to do damage, but of course, those siege tanks are incredibly powerful. This Banshee's still getting along. No, it just went down. Banshee, no! And here he scans because I assume that he didn't think that he killed the Banshee, that it had actually just cloaked, but no, man, he killed it. So a wasted scan there, but it doesn't really matter because he still has 143 energy on that orbital command. Of course, I'm not doing much better. I have 190. Where are the mules? But uh, I don't need them too much. I, I'm still 800, 700. I am getting weapons level 3, and I'm starting to get Thors out because of those Vikings. Getting a few Vikings out, a, a couple of them of my own. Thor is here. Love that, man. Not getting uh, the armor level 3 upgrade. I'm not sure why. That should definitely have started. Three medevacs on the way. So, as well as a siege tank and three marauders and four marines. Because I am on five Raxus. Thor is out of place. He is... Oh, that, that, I did that, man. You can't do that. I did that. I am getting armor level three on my marines and marauders because i do use them so much i do love that marine and marauder ball weapons level two along with vehicle plating level one on the way as well and here completely oversaturated need to get those guys out as soon as possible what am i 31 there but good news for me since i'm completely oversaturated i can afford to put all these guys on repairing the planetary fortress and i still have a ton of people mining so i'm going in to counter this and i'm doing massive amounts of damage because he does not have upgrades upgrades so i'm able to take all that out taking out the remaining siege tanks weapons level three still not done armor level three not even close getting another base at the third well it's one of the other 
starting points that neither one of us got and of course he will be able to see that with the supply depot but it doesn't look like he has that much of an army left to handle that no he does not i do have twice what he has in terms of uh, army well at least in supply and i should be moving out and starting to do massive amounts of damage he does have missile turrets up because of those banshees like i said banshees will scare the daylights out of people this Vespine Geyser is done on his side and on mine, but I transferred those SCVs like a boss. And it looks like he's going for a push here? I mean... No, just repositioning there. I thought that was kind of strange. And here I went in and took out the Supply Depot, warping in another Planetary Fortress. So I do have three Planetary Fortress out. These... Oh, look at that little row of very productive Union... SCVs, they're on their lunch break. They should be done soon, though. And one lonely SCV, mining what's left here. He should be done in about, what is that, eight, seven trips? Yeah, seven trips. Well, not anymore. So look at all that. I have all those medevacs out. That is probably too much. But I'm just like, you know what? Let's load all the mech in there, too. One of you grab a Thor. I've got three of them now. Oh, four now. Four Thors. Didn't pick up any of them, but I do have more medevacs out. That is too many medevacs. And he scans to make sure that I have nothing guarding this, and I don't, just the planetary fortress. These guys are not up to repair right now. They're kind of out of position and lazy. So he moves in. He sees that as a planetary fortress, so he is forced to use his siege tanks. But meanwhile, I have dropped in his base. Uh, the missile turret couldn't decide which medevac to take out, so it didn't take out any of them. Oh, but he does take out that one because I was sloppy with my micro, but I have so much of an army inside his base right now that he really doesn't know what to do. Plus, I'm pushing outside here in case he tries to go for a counter. Still no upgrades on the bio here. Just one upgrade on the... Wow, just one on on the vehicles, and that's it. It looks like it doesn't. Did he even get anything? Where are some of those Vikings? Just medevacs, and they they don't have plating. But I don't know if the the Vikings have any sort of um, attack upgrades. And here he's going for the other planetary fortress. These guys are not repairing. You guys are total jerks, man. Just just fix it. Fix it. Starport is going down. I have such a huge army that, uh, you know, at this point I'm kind of like, oh, you want a base race? Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. So look at that. That's, that's the beauty of upgrades. Even though all those guys are going down, look how much of that, that force I took out, even with all these siege tanks to help out. Planetary Force is still doing a ton of damage. I'm like, fine, I'll come back and take this out. So I'm running back to the base with that huge army. I've actually stopped producing, it looks like. Yeah, you know, what can I say? Yeah, not doing that great. But I was able to take out all the, the bio. All that's left are these four siege tanks. He should be leaving the game, to be honest with you. I do have all these all these medevacs out. Pretty much just hanging out. He is trying to rebuild, getting three barracks along with a planetary fortress. It is far, far, far past game over, and he should know that. I mean, look at that. What are you going to be doing, man? Look at that. Ugh. All he's got is, is four siege tanks and a marine. Meanwhile, I mean, my four Thors alone could take him out. The one Viking, probably no. Probably not. This one marine? Nah, eh, maybe. He does have three kills. And he is 3-3. Three, three, with stim pack and combat shield. But, yeah. Four siege tanks is a lot. This guy, though. Wow, look at these kills on these guys. 10, 12, 5, 12... So I'm going for another expansion. Looks like this guy's queued up to build another one. Yes, he is. So I'm going for the four expansions again, rebuilding what I had. And I'm like, ah, 
should I move out? Should I not move out? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I was very hesitant about it, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I should have known that the game was over. But because he didn't GG and I assumed that the game was over, I just kind of wanted to get the macro back up. Even though I have so much gas, look at all that gas. Um, you know, take these guys off of gas. Take these guys off of gas. Move those guys. They're not doing nothing for me. I am doing some long distance mining here. There is still quite a few minerals here. Uh, ch -ch -ch quick math. I can't do math. One marine inside the base taking out supply depots. And I'm like, okay, where are you? So I'm just exploring around. He's Through all this time, he was able to get one marine and one marauder. I'm sure that will save him in this game. Because, you know, he needed all that room for it. One marine able to take out the supply table, moving in for the missile turret. Meanwhile, these guys are moving in. They're still 3-3. These guys are still nothing, 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 nothing. And so they die. Die. And Ark leaves the game. No GG. I would have loved a GG. This was a, you know, look at that, 35 minutes. You know, it was, to be honest, it was probably over at about the 20-minute the mark, but... Still, man, it was a good game, I thought. I, I did have way too much gas, um, because I'm still going for the Marina Marauder Ball. I did rally them in here while the guys were harassing my planetary fortress, which never went down, and it got nine kills. The planetary fortress got nine kills. The planetary fortress got nine kills. That's all I'm saying. So that was the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long game, and I hope you guys do enjoy long games. I enjoy casting them because it reminds me that I'm doing well with YouTube because they let me uh, broadcast games that are longer than 15 minutes long. Let's put the little, like, bubble here. Okay, so, um, anyways. Yeah, there was no video today. Um, I'm going to try not to apologize for it, but it is my habit to apologize even when it's not really my fault. But this time it kind of was. There was no video. I have been really busy and therefore I have not had time to record. I only have, I believe, two more games to broadcast after this and then I am completely tapped in terms of games and then I have to play more. So you should be seeing me online if you guys do want to add me. I don't actually know my character code to be honest with you. I'll have to look that up. But uh, the, the expectation I set for myself of a game every day uh, I, I'm still going to be aiming for that, but uh, yeah, I just can't guarantee that I'll be able to do it. Let's Play 7 Saga is a little bit behind. I actually, after I broadcast these games, I'm going to go play that, hopefully get that up as soon as possible, but I do know that I need to get some level grinding soon, so if you guys are following that, it might be up a little bit later than usual, but I don't think you guys are following that anyways. But this was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.